Josh is in here right now. He's in the bad place. And when he's at the bad place, you're not allowed to talk to him. I, I cannot physically keep a straight face. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food! I said food real long, because we're making a real long burrito. As you well know, burritos are my single favorite food in the entire world, but I got one issue with them. They're not communal. Food is about sharing, food is about love, food is about community, and you can't commune with people when it's in an individually wrapped foil little pregnant diaper from Chipotle and they, they've stopped even trying to roll them into tubes. There's a square now. So I want to change all that. I want to make a 10 foot burrito and I want to share it with all my friends. We got Morgan out here. Morgan, you got a baby at home and babies need burritos. Maggie, you've made it incredibly clear that if we don't give you burritos on a semi-annual basis that you will walk out of this job and God dang it, we can't afford to lose you. Chris, I owe you something nice because you touch my sweaty body all the time trying to adjust the microphone and that's not a joke. Like 10 minutes ago, the microphone just wicked off my body like dripping candle wax because the river of sweat careening through my chest cavity. And so that's what we're doing today. We are gonna make some really tasty scratch made carnitas, which is one of my single favorite, <laughs> which is one of my single favorite meats of all time. You know, I got my ranked list of meats. Uh, we're also gonna make a really tasty habanero salsa. And then we're gonna get all the kitcheners in here and we're gonna roll up a large 10 foot party burrito. Are you ready? Are you ready? Am I ready? Ready as I'm ever gonna be. We broke the recipe down into three easy steps to make your own 10 foot burrito right there <laughs> if you want a full written recipe. Again, I cannot stress this enough for a 10 foot burrito. It's right down there. I shouldn't say 10 foot burrito. <laughs> Let's get cooking. All right, so we got about 12 pounds of pork before us. We got four pounds of skin on pork belly here, and we got eight pounds of straight up pork shoulder, uh, AKA pork butt, but it's actually the shoulder, which is how I got the nickname. Shoulder butt. That makes no sense. Can we re can we redact that joke? We keep it in the edit, but redact it. It made no sense, but I don't want people to see uh, that I might be suffering from heat stroke. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start hacking up this pork right here. And also in the pot, we got about four pounds of lard cooking down. That's just gonna start the process, get everything grooving in there with all the pork fat. So I'm gonna take this one and cut it in like real big chunks. You don't wanna do it too small. So a lot of people think that carnitas, which literally translates into little meats. A lot of people think carnitas is kind of just like uh, Mexican pulled pork. And I attribute a lot of that to Chipotle because they kind of just got like wet pork uh, that they probably slow cook in broth or something. But traditional carnitas, which uh, a lot of people attribute to the state of Michoacan, uh, is typically made with a whole pig that has actually been cooked down in a copper pot called a caso in its own fat. And it creates this like confit-like deliciousness. So it's like crispy and tender all at once. And most carnitas is actually just made with lard and salt. But you know, I like to add some kind of aromatics in there because sometimes you know it's not super traditional, but it makes it nice and fun. Just nice big chunks. It'd be nice and rustic. You're gonna cook this down in the fat for like four hours or so. I'm just gonna season all this pork up with salt it's not super important because you can always season afterwards though. Yeah, that's nice. And then we got all our Max here. But first of all, giant pot of lard. Guys, 10 foot burrito, that's a lot. Average burrito is what, eight inches? So we got the, the lard melting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these pieces of pork. We're just gonna add that into the lard. I like to jack the heat up a little bit to get the pork slightly, slightly browned. And then I drop the heat and there's gonna be a fair amount of steam that collects inside here, which is actually good because steam entering the equation is gonna prevent it from browning too much, and that's the difference between, you know, cooking it down solely in its own fat versus just straight up deep frying, which is gonna get you like a pretty tough piece of pork. So there's gonna be a lot of steam in there, but gradually over time as you boil this out, all that steam escapes. And then at the end, when you turn the heat down low, you jack it back up, you can get it all nice and brown and crusty. Now, as far as aromatics go, again, like I said, like traditional carnitas from Michoacan Akan will just be like salt, pork and lard, and it is a beautiful expression of pure porcine deliciousness. But I also like some aromatics in there. I've done it both ways. I like when you got the cinnamon sticks in there, we're gonna drop those in there. I like to take a couple garlic cloves, we just kind of cracked it in half, and then we gave it one. Ice! Ow, ow. Wait, one more, it's gotta be the, it's gotta be the Superman palm heel strike. Ice! There we go. Just gonna drop that in there whole. Again, we're gonna strain all this pork out after we boil it down its own fat. It's gonna be delicious. Gonna get some onions going in there. I'm gonna take a couple oranges and I'm just gonna squeeze them in there and I'm gonna drop them in. That's gonna make it nice and fragrant. And then the rest of the oranges, you can just use these to give you energy. We're gonna let this come up to... <laughs> It's a big pot. It take a long time. We're gonna crank this heat up to high. We're gonna get a little bit of browning on the pork. Pop the lid on, crank it low, cook it for four hours. And I got one secret little ingredient. To show you. Let's address the elephant in the room. This pot used to be eight times the size of this one. What had happened was we noticed that that pot was way too big to actually heat up on our burners. So we put it into a smaller pot. Uh, the good news is this carne is looking really fantastic. It has been boiling away for about four hours. Yep, that is a little bit hot. That's burning pork fat. But this is exactly where I want it to be. Uh-oh, oh God. 
Oh no. Oh god. Oh, normally I can do that with water and stuff, but boiling pork fat's a different story. Anyways, just look, look at it on the on, look at it on the wood thing. Ow. <laughs> Ow. This is exactly what I'm looking for though. You see like the underside still got a lot of that fat intact. They're a nice whole piece that we can hack up, but we're getting a lot of that delicious browning in there. Back in the pot, you bastard. I got one more little trick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Mexican Coke. I'm just gonna pour that right into the boiling oil. And all that's gonna do is it's gonna like start to separate the sugars. Oh, oh God, that's good. Well, that, woof. It's actually gonna start to like separate the sugars out from the Coke inside that oil in there. And then it's gonna start to caramelize and get that to cling to the outside of the pork. I'm gonna let this boil away for like another five minutes until we see some even greater browning on the pork. And then we're gonna pull it, we're gonna hack it up, and then we're gonna, we got a lot of, we're doing a lot of stuff. All right, great, so that pork's been boiling away. Got some lovely brown on that. Let me get, oh, there's all those aromatics in there. Oh boy. Oh, you see all that pork belly skin. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and give her one of those. You gotta, now you gotta fish out some oranges. Ow, ow, God, jeez, and rice. And then what you do, you just take a, 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 a hatchet? Hatchet. Take a little hatchet, you just kinda give it a nice little chop up right there. Take some of these limes, just give it a nice big squeeze of juice. Take a little taste of this right here. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> this is going to be the base of our burrito filling. It's got those beautiful, crunchy, craggly bits. It's got these nice little wiggly, jiggly skin bits in there. This is gonna be so good. One would be great in a taco. Two, how much better is this gonna be in a giant 10-foot burrito? We'll find out. All right, now that we've been standing over just a boiling vat of pork for the last several hours, we make a nice, refreshing salsa. I'm doing a habanero salsa here. Habanero and carnitas is like my absolute favorite combination because I love you get all the freshness in that habanero with that big old just porky punch of the carnitas right to your dome. So, using a bit of a controversial ingredient here. I'm using some orange bell pepper, which likely wouldn't be traditional. However, when I'm making a habanero salsa, habaneros are obviously very, very spicy. I just drop the pepper stems on the ground, whatever, man. Habaneros are obviously very, very spicy, and so you need to cut that to still get enough of that flavor. I'm adding a a little bit of tomato, but I don't just want a like heavily tomato-based salsa. So I want something bright orange, throwing some bell peppers in there, roast them. Anytime you're making salsa, just you know, play around, roast some different vegetables, blend them up, live a little. I like to falsely accuse the audience of not living, you know? So I can be like, live a little! We're gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. We're just gonna roast this off real quick. Oh, golly! And then a couple habaneros. We're gonna roast these off in the oven. We're gonna broil them. Just get everything sweating, get everything nice and workable in there. I'm just gonna lube this up with a little bit of oil. Then we're gonna get some salt in there. And then just kind of give it a nice massage. Uh, you know how in, in the Kagoshima prefecture in Japan, they, they massage their, their, their cattle to become more tender? I like to massage my vegetables so I grow more tender on the inside, more empathetic. I'm gonna roast these in the oven. All right, let them broil for a bit uh, until you see them blacken. Could be five, six minutes. I don't know your broiler. I don't know your life. I don't know what you need for you right now, but I know that you can slow down and take a breath because me, an empath, should tell you what to do. Buy my online success course for $39 a month until the day you die. Josh isn't here right now. He's in the bad place. And when he's at the bad place, you're not allowed to talk to I, I cannot physically keep a straight face. Oh God, it's so hot! So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take those hot onions, take the peppers, got a couple garlics in there, that's pretty cool. Uh, pop that on there. Uh, it's habanero, this is what you want. You want just a nice charred habanero right there. We see the beautiful blackening on that. That's gonna give the salsa such a lovely texture. And then you can just start kind of like hacking into all this stuff. Uh, we're gonna chop it up into like slightly small pieces. And then we're just gonna take that with our bare hands, pop that right into the food processor there. That's pretty cool. Uh, essentially, we wanna get this in like slightly workable pieces. We're gonna food process it. We don't want it to get like too, too, too homogenous because I still want some of those chunks in there. A lot of people peel this skin when they roast peppers. I don't like that, man. I want the burn in there. I want those little like imperfections in the salsa. You can hear it sizzle. It's just on my hands, man. What the heck? I take these tomatoes. Bow. Bow. <laughs> Do we have gloves in the kitchen? No way. I actually, I, I swear to God, I actually did not see those. We're just gonna add a tiny bit of vinegar just to add a little bit more acidity to the salsa. We're also gonna take a lime, hit it with the old peck deck chest press. All right, let's use a half a lime in there, get, get it kind of running off your elbow and then drip back in. <laughs> We're gonna add a fair amount of salt in there, always under your seasons, your salsa, and then season as you go after you taste. And then we start pulsing it just until, add, don't pulse it, just go. Yeah, oh, this is looking pretty good, this is looking pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, pow! Pow right in the kitchen, wow! Habanero, straight off the bat, which is really delicious, but those peppers have been cooked really beautifully. Ton of salt, ton of acid in there. Honestly, this salsa, it's it's really money. Uh, it's absolutely perfect. To me, the red bell pepper, it actually really works because you're still getting what? Orange is technically a shade of red. Orange is light red. Have you ever read a book? You guys have those dark yellow bell peppers in there. They work really well. And honestly, like, it's got all the pepper flavor, but on the heat, and then you're getting all that pure habanero flavor in there. But hey, now, are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. 
a roll 10 foot burrito. Kitcheneers, do you accept the task that is before you? I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah. Kitcheneers, do you all reek of boiling pork fat right now? And lard. Yes. Yes. Smell me. Kitcheneers, how wet are you from, from the heat from the oven coming behind and the pork coming from the front? Very moist. Very Zoom moist. in on this, There's Maggie. What do you see? We're all so moist. We have our 10 foot, six inch runway of foil. We are going to stack. 20 tortillas across this right now. I know what you're saying. Why the extra six inches? Why the extra why six the extra inches? Because why not? That's fair enough, but no, there's, there's a better answer though. <laughs> We're gonna fold the insides of the burrito. Oh. So 10 foot six, that happens that. I know what you're saying. Okay. I understand. So we got some delicious Mexican rice right there. We got some refried beans. We got all that delicious carnitas. We got a whole lot of queso fresco. We got that habanero salsa right there. We got a sack of cream. And then we got a big old bowl of guac. And all that's gonna go in the tempered burrito. We're gonna shingle tortillas across this, and then we are going to run relay race style, and we're gonna thwap down. We're gonna go beans, then we're gonna go rice, then we're gonna go carnitas, then we're gonna go guac, then we're gonna go salsa, then we're gonna go cheese, and then Nicole, I'm gonna stab that cream, and you're gonna run with it like a cow, swinging, leaking udders, screaming, I'm the cream lady, I'm the cream lady, as you leak cream all over the all over the tortillas. You feel prepared for that? I'm that was graphic. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I'm go, let's do it. We're gonna finish with cream. And now for the ceremonial laying of the tortillas. I will start and you will all follow my lead. Ow, it's hot, ow, it's hot. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna shingle them, but then try and keep the integrity of the line right there. You see what I'm saying? We're not getting too much uh -huh, uh -huh. concave overlap. So we're gonna need probably about 20 of these bad boys. We have 24 in here. This should be enough. Okay. This should be enough. This there is weird. My turn to burn my hands? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Josh, I don't know if anyone's asked you this yet, uh -huh. but why? The baby. Yeah. Morgan has, Trevor, come on. Morgan's got a baby at home. Babies love burritos. Morgan's gonna take the burrito home. So we're doing it for the baby. We're doing for the baby. That's a fight I can get behind everybody. Come for on, the baby. we're doing this for the baby. Let's do the baby. Come on, let's do this. Come on, it's for the baby. baby. I'm gonna trail you with beans. Ah, oh, hot. Flaps of beans down all over here, okay? Fijole. It's like the way you pet a snake, you have to pet it with the scales. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna follow Who the rice. I'm gonna follow the rice. I'm gonna follow the rice. Hey, I have a pet snake. So we got that. All right, now I'm gonna trail with me. I'm gonna trail with me. Jesus. Did anyone measure this? Like, to see how much everything weighs to see if it is actually 10? Yeah, yeah, we gotta, you know, be generous oh, over here. Oh, it's so 10 we don't... feet, not 10 pounds. Never mind. How are we gonna You're wrap making that? This. Your what? side is so bulky compared to all the rest of us. Yeah, well, because I'm eating from my side. <laughs> Papa eats first. We go with guac. Oh, okay, okay. Splash zone. I don't need that much pork. Splash I think zone. we're gonna have a thin middle and two very hefty edges. Yes, that's like me, that's man. Fine. That's Shaped a like a Dorito. All right, salsa coming through, salsa coming through. Hold on, I skipped the spot. Box I ran out. out of meat. Are you just gonna take over my I'm a beast thing? on the boards, V, you can't stop me. Nicole, are you ready to be Blood the cream, cream woman? Oh, frick. What? Okay, you gotta be generous. I'm not ready yet. to be cream why, woman Why is there so much carnitas on that end? Pay attention to your own place. Yeah, you're Look at your own yeah. support. Stop taking my Which pork, is, stop it. Bro, get out of here. Get out of here, that's my pork. Are you not gonna pass me the cheese? You heard about the wrong thing. Josh, go back to your burrito. What? Go back to your end of the burrito. Yeah, your like cutoff is like right here. Nicole, it's time. It's time for you to become the cream woman. Yes! You guys have to move out of the way, okay? I don't know I... how I'm gonna run. Do I run like this? No. Do I run like this? No, you Nicole, you've like seen me run. You gotta do the Josh run. You gotta waddle. <laughs> I have to waddle? You okay. Waddle. I'm, I'm the cream lady! lady. Yes! I'm the cream lady! I'm the cream lady! I'm the cream lady! I'm the cream lady! Guys, I got something special. I don't know if I like <laughs> special things coming out of there. A little cilantro for freshness. All right, you ready to roll this up? So Trevor, you and I, we're the end men, right? Yes. We're gonna take the, our ends, we're gonna fold them over, and then all of us <laughs> get to try and figure out how to fit as much of our forearms underneath this, because if you see, there's a way to get all the tortillas up at the same side, Trevor's squeaking, but then on three, we're gonna give a feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's burrito time, and then we're gonna go, okay? <laughs> Trevor, you got your end folded over? I've got my end folded over. All right, everyone try and get as much surface area underneath your Ooh, fingers at it's once. It's not happening on this side. You don't have to use your, uh, using your forearms is probably a bad idea. Just try and I tuck, have a long forearm, try and tuck your fingers. Use your long fingers. All right, do we all feel that we are ready? God. ready so it's gonna have to be a lift. I don't know how to be more it's gonna ready. be a lift and dump over, okay? You ready? Ready, y'all. Are ready? All right, go on. Everyone, everyone, everyone on me, on me. Wait! I win! No, no, wait. no, back! Feel the rhythm! Feel the rhyme! Get on up! It's burrito time! Oh, God! Okay, 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 okay. Shh, shh, tuck, 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 tuck. Everyone tuck, everyone tuck. Everyone use your fingers to tuck. Everyone use your fingers to tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. How are we? How are we? Hold! Any breaches! Yeah. 
Wait, and it breaches. Nicole's wait, breaching. I'm tucking. Trevor, I got you. Got Trevor, I got you. <laughs> Trevor, come on. Guys, now we have to griddle it. Now, so we're doing a grilled stuffed burrito. So we have to get four clothing irons and iron all the folds shut. Kitcheneers, irons up! <laughs> oh my god. I got On the three, irons. one, two, grill! <laughs> that was so satisfying, yet was so it? dumb. Didn't that that nice? was so that nice. Was so so Did it feel nice? And it's working too, is Don't, the worst part. Wait, hold on. You know, you know, get the wrinkles in. out. I'm getting the wrinkles out of the tortilla. So, what are we gonna do when we have to iron the other side? We have to we iron the other no, side. No, 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 no. The residual heat from the iron will carry through. To <laughs> Honestly, this is quite a feat. Ten feet. To be exact. That was right, Elise. Get your ears! Josh! What's up, man? We gotta like roll in foil. You guys ready to pull? Okay, so all we gotta do, I think, is grab the foil like this, and then whoa, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up. It's burrito time! And now we roll it and we tuck, and then we fold the edges in. There we go. And then a one more roll. Ready? Everyone positions. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up. It's burrito time. There we go. Mine looks and then like a quesadilla. Just kind of put pack it. No, no, you gotta mash it. Okay. Now we just gotta put this in the oven for about 10 minutes <laughs> to get up to temp. How do we eat it? How, yeah. Hey, look at this, guy. We made a 10 foot burrito. Everyone said it couldn't be done. None of these people in here Morgan, Nick, Chris, Maggie, Ben, Annalise you didn't believe in us ever. And we did it. We overcame all the adversity that we have made up in our own heads to, to make this burrito. Y'all ready to eat this? Of course I am! Yeah! Trevor, are you ready to carve up your portion of this burrito? Yes, sir. Take as much as you want. Okay. Oh, yeah, V. Here, take yours. Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> My baby. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> She's falling. Okay, Go I got on. mine. All right, I'm, I'm just dive in. I'm gonna yeah. just fold it. Wow. I got a rest on my chest. This is delicious. This is a good burrito. Oh, yeah. wow. oh my god. Uh oh. This, this is, is banging. When you get a bite of everything together, this is really freaking fantastic. Like the carnitas and the salsa are obviously the star, but then you get like that comforting rice and beans in there. This is burrito. We got some work to do. We got the crew to feed. Morgan, double portion for the baby coming up. <laughs> Kitcheneers, thank you all so much for completing this task with me. Uh, this is really incredible. Thank you all for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We have new episodes for you every week. Oh, that habanero hot sauce is a kicking. We have new episodes of our podcast. Uh, <laughs> A hot dog is a sandwich every Wednesday wherever you get your podcast. Oh, God. Get us up on Instagram. The picture's your mythical dishes at Mythical Kitchen under hashtag Dreams of Come Food. See y'all next time. I gotta, I gotta go down. God, that's good. Mm. I got pork in my eyelashes. Where do we go from here? Like in our lives. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.